How's it guys? So today we're having fun with the smallos. Um, I've just dropped a little small sabiki and there's a plenty small o's here. These little fish, they almost look like sardine, but they are not. Not like we know them. But this is barracuda bait. Mm -hmm. So I've got quite a couple in the bucket here already. They come and go, come and go in shoals, but uh, yeah, good fun. On, again. Yeah, they come boys one two three four quickly so now we got bait so now we can actually go and catch a fish now so guys the tide is pushing I'm using a very very small sabiki so we just dropped them off the jetty here I see spanner fish down here let's see how many different oars I can get Maybe we get lucky. Some nice mullet here as well. I wish I can get one of those and put him out here. And someone mentioned in the comments that the washing machine might have some fish. I see two guys in a canoe sitting there today. I'll see when they come back what they have. So guys, first fish for the day. Hungry little O. And a fish here off the jetty. Just drop a sabiki trace here. See what we can pull. Lots of sardines as well. Guys, Saturday morning and the tide is high now it is 20 to 8 in the morning and we're gonna try and spin off these rocks here maybe there's some hungry oya i got a lawyer and a small stick just to see if we can get hooked up let's try our luck guys catching sardines here is like child's play look at them four at a time but they fall off the hook before i get it up grouper yes you always find this grouper at the wreck they at the wreck, the wreck, the ship wreck. They oh okay the carpenter, carpenter. Yes. okay at times we cut this at the noon time we catch few but when night time come we catch them plenty yeah yes i always go night to fishing with this soft boat so I can catch plenty. At times I catch five, six. That's very nice. Yes. That's a big fish, eh? Yeah, this is a big fish. I very nice. Catch them plenty. And it's got a plenty big teeth as well. Yes, I'm Silla, the fisherman. You are Silla, the fisherman. Yes. Yeah, well done. I've also worked for the company. Oh, okay. And you got some other sort of fish here as well. Yes. This is snapper. The snapper, yeah. Black snapper. Black snapper. Black snapper. Yes. Very, very nice. But this is a very nice grouper. Very, very nice fish. Okay, go. Tell and say the grouper now. 170. I want 70. 170? Thank you. Shall I send the money? So, guys, from where I am and what I understand from this fisherman, out to my left, I don't know if it's visible over there, there's a rock formation or something that sticks out. That's apparently where the wreck is. That's about three k's from here to row on what we know as a paddle ski and a wooden oar. <laughs> and see the fish these oars catch, it just amazes me every day with a hand line. They don't even have fishing rods, they don't even have proper hooks. There are no tackle shops here like we have back home where you can walk in and buy. A fishing rod and hooks and stuff like that so it's amazing what these guys achieve and I think we can learn from them and this is sustainable fishing because they fish with a hand line and a bait and if they don't have bait they can't fish so it's a, it's amazing how these people survive and the way they do it, it it's just it's tough to live this life yet they do it every single day guys uh, on I don't know what I got ah there we go little red snapper old school float two small hooks 
There's my first snapper. Off the rocks, proper pull. No cameraman, but we're gonna make a plan here to get this all, all sorted. Okay, boys, let's see how this works. So, yeah, guys. <laughs> Not so much luck with the small hose today. There are plenty, but I, I don't know. They don't want to chow. I see them. They just follow the bait. Maybe I must try a different technique here. Uh, the first one, old school. That worked. So, but we'll see. As the tide goes down, maybe I get lucky. And maybe I can get to see more fish. At the moment, I'm fishing on the rocks. I think these fish are too scared to go out further, but there's no barracuda in the area. Although i got a rod with me, if I see them, I'm definitely going to throw at them. They don't often come into the bay here, but we'll get our chance with the boat and go smack these all soon enough. Yeah, the guys fish by any means possible. As long as they can get out there and earn their living. And off he goes, Silla, the fisherman. <laughs> so guys, yeah, look at that, a big block of flats, never completed. I'm taking a walk down the beach road. So just to give you an idea of what the beach looks like. Soccer is the main thing here. The guys play soccer on the beach. I see that quite often. But look at the ocean, it's flat. There's no waves. It's amazing actually. At least there's a bit of a, a shop that sells, well, mainly for the women. And there's a lot of these beach bars all along. So, and small little restaurants and whatever. So you can come and have a chow. Local style, flame grilled, everything right here on the fire. So guys, just give you an idea of the beach starts way over there and it goes on forever <laughs> yeah it's amazing um, apparently the guys that don't fish from the beach even though it, for me it looks like a but uh, the guys come here with their boats and they net like we do when we're sardine time it's a, a everyday thing and apparently they do get some fish here sometimes I don't know, maybe I should be the odd one out and come throw a bait here. And who knows, I might be surprised. Quite a bit of life here, public transport's everywhere. So to get around is not an issue. I'm just taking a walk to get to know everything. So guys, yeah, Sierra Leone. Not a bad place, Laka. But you need to adjust, eh? This is not... <laughs> This is not an essay. There are no supermarkets and things like that around every corner you have to go far to find one. But pretty much everything is to be bought on the streets. There are a lot of people who sell stuff. And yeah, you can get around. But water is the main concern. You have to have water. It's extremely hot here. So water is a definite must. But other than that, it's peaceful. The people are friendly. There are no issues. I mean, look at me, all alone on the on the beach in the in another country, and there's just no issues here, boys. As I spend a little bit more time, I'll probably explore a little bit more. There's a lot happening further down from this beach. Um, it carries on for about 12 k's. There's a lot happening that side. I'll see if I can get some material to show you us. But yeah, awesome. A lot of unfinished buildings. I'm sure there were good intentions once upon a time. So yeah, not a lot of fish, but my time will come. Thanks boys, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting and thanks for the opportunity that I have to spend here. It's awesome. 
I'll see you soon, boys.